This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got my co-host back with me, Robbie Hall. Who's your special guest this week? Brianna Carly. Hi. Good, good morning, Sienna, and thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Robbie and Kathy. How, how long has the movie Under the Stars been around? That is a great question. I actually don't have the year off the top of my head because, oh, sorry, there's a train in the background there. But um, the movies Under the Stars was actually run by the Together Smith Falls group, which did an amazing job. Um, and then the museum had the wonderful opportunity to actually take it over a few years ago. So the museum itself has been running it for about four years. Um, so we're excited to be able to have another summer uh, this summer with it. When are they starting this summer? Yeah, so the movies this summer start on July 7th. That's our first uh, movie stars under the stars date. And then it runs every Thursday until August 18th. Where are the movie under the stars playing? They are playing uh, in Centennial Park, just as they've always done every summer. We're keeping it in the same area, right under the water tower there by the Murphy Building. What time should people arrive? So people can start to arrive anytime before, I would say, 7 o'clock. Um, if we do have pre-show entertainment, that's when the pre-show entertainment starts. The movie itself won't be coming on until dusk, which will differ between the months, but between 8.30 and 9 would be the, the movie start time. What pre-movie in entertainment will be happening? So we have a lot of great sponsors that um, help make these nights possible. And we're sponsored by, I'm just going to list them really quick here, the Lanark County Children's Services, Gamble's Garden Center, Royal LePage, On Track, Remax, Optimum Health, and Andrus Independent Grocer. So we are able to secure quite a few pre-show entertainment. So for example, July 7th, we have Junkyard Symphony starting. Uh, July 21st, we have the Zoo Crew, which is kind of like a small petting zoo. Uh, July 28th, we have the Clarence Rockland Ghostbusters. Uh, and August 4th, we have Little Ray's Reptiles. On the days that there's not the like planned pre-show, we will have like uh, our own pre-show. Some of the sponsors are running their own little activities or games, um, or they'll be face painting and things like that. What some people bring with them? Yeah, so they should definitely, well, it depends on the person, but definitely bring on something you want to sit on. So if that's a lawn chair or maybe it's a blanket, um, there's there are picnic tables there too for some people. Uh, they should bring maybe some long sleeves. It does get chillier uh, as the night goes on. Bug spray is always a good idea because the bugs are really bad at dusk. Uh, and yeah, anything they really want to bring with them to watch and enjoy a movie. What movies are playing? So we have a great lineup this summer, and we're fortunate enough to be able to do July and August, because the past few summers it was just August because of COVID. So July 7th is Disney's Encanto. July 14th is Spider-Man No Way Home. That's the newest one. Uh, July 21st is Sing 2. July 28th is Ghostbusters Afterlife. August 4th is Disney's Jungle Cruise. August 11th is The Princess Bride, so an oldie. And then August 18th is The Bad Guys. Is there a cost to get in? There is no cost to get in. It's uh, admission is free. We do accept donations just to, to keep this event running because um, we do like have staff and other costs to go, but the event itself is completely free, yeah. Can you buy drinks or food? Yes, we do run a canteen, which actually that does help us cover costs of the movie license as well as the, the generous amounts we get from sponsors. Um, so we'll have things like cotton candy, popcorn, hot dogs, pop and chips uh, available for, for sale. What, what happens if it rains? 
Uh, if it rains, so if it's just like a little sprinkle, we might try to like, like during the day, we might keep it, try to keep it going. But if it does actually rain when the movie's playing, we unfortunately do have to uh, shut down, cancel and reschedule just because the movie equipment is uh, very expensive and finicky and we don't want anything to happen to it. So we've had it before where we're rained out actually the night of, um, but you, you uh, sorry, we usually do try to call it um, the, the day of. So we ask people to kind of take a look at our social media pages. We have a Facebook page uh, or they can also call the museum and we'll let them know um, if we're gonna call it uh, as rained out. How can people contact you for more in the in, in the formation so they can get a hold of us through the um the facebook page for more information it's Mo sf movies under the or movies under the stars smith falls or if you just search uh, smith falls movies under the stars that's going to be the one thing that comes up there so we have a lot of information on our facebook page if they want to contact us to talk to one of us uh they can call the museum the heritage house museum at 613-283-6311, or they can send uh, myself an email at scolly at smithsfalls.ca. Thank you for joining us, Sienna, and have a great day. Thanks, Robbie, and thanks for all the great questions. Thank you, Sienna, for doing this with us today, but while we have you here, can we talk a little bit about what's actually going on at the museum right now, too? Yeah, absolutely. So fortunately, uh, we're able to put on numerous events again this summer. So it's really exciting. Um, we have some great uh, things planned. So uh, as I'm sure a lot of people know, Paddle Fest is happening this Saturday. So we are uh, participating in that. We're actually right across from where Paddle Fest is being held at Laura Reach Park. So it's a really great opportunity for us. Um, so we will have a booth over there in um, with the Tannismas Falls, and we'll be able to give out like brochures, uh, information about the museum and the Tannismas Falls. Uh, we'll have a few like games over there, like Victorian lawn games that people can kind of pick up and play with. And we are hoping to do some face paint too over at Paddle Fest. The museum itself is also going to be open. So we're hoping people just, you know, take the little trek across the way. Um, and we have our new outdoor tours. So we've always offered indoor tours of the museum. So those will still be available too. But our new outdoor tours, which are run um, by Aiden, who's a, a great worker here, you can go around and you'll you'll learn about um, like the geography of the region, the importance of the land and some of the flora of the area too. And you'll actually head on over to Old Slice Rapids as well and see kind of the gorgeous grounds. They, they can be booked actually ahead of time on Eventbrite as well. Um, but the actual uh, admission for the museum on Paddle Fest Day is going to be open by donation. Uh, we'll also have like several different scavenger hunts they can do like outdoor or indoor and some baked oven in our baked oven treats for, for people for sale as well. So Excellent, excellent. I always like the indoor treats too, because you, you cook everything the old fashioned way and it just, it, it, they're, they're really great. Uh, that, that's yeah. always, yeah. You got this little oh, yeah. oven in the wall. <laughs> exactly. We did actually a pizza day with staff and it was really delicious. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Now you've got another event coming up. I, I believe it's called the Night Watchman Investigative Team. Yeah, uh, so we yeah. have a... I'm uh, very intrigued. Big, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's really exciting. We have a big paranormal activity night. Um, we've actually had the Night Watchman investigation team come to the museum before and do their own investigation. And now we kind of want to open it up to the public where they can join another investigation of the museum. So uh, it's also in partnership with Ghost as well, which is another investigation team. And it's Saturday, June 18th. And there are different times. So there's a 6 p.m. time slot, but that's actually already sold out. And then there's an 11 p.m. time slot, which is going to be even kind of spookier because it's definitely at night. Um, and it'll run for a few hours, so the two different groups. And what you'll do is you'll you'll go through the museum and you'll do an actual paranormal investigation, but you'll also learn about all the different equipment and what kind of goes into it. Um, so you can book tickets if you want to attend uh, the 11 p.m. slot. They're on Eventbrite, and it's fifty or it's sixty dollars plus tax for one person. But there's a deal um, if you get two tickets at a time, it's $100 plus tax. Uh, but yeah, so you can check that out on Eventbrite if you search uh, the paranormal activity at the Heritage House Museum. Um, and if you need any more information about it, you can shoot us an email or call us as well for that. So it should be a lot of fun. They're always like really fun when they come. So yeah. Excellent, excellent. So you've got a busy couple of weeks. You're gonna be helping out with, uh, you're gonna be participating with the Paddle Fest, which is June 11th. 
and you've got the what, what is the name of the night paranormal paranormal activity with the nightman investigation team and ghost it's kind of a, a word like full but it's basically called paranormal activity at the heritage House Museum. all right and that's june 18th and there's only a few spots left so get a hold of yes. this Mm -hmm. excellent. Absolutely. Excellent. And we've got movies under the stars starting up too. So this is exciting. <laughs> yes. We're very excited for the summer to start. Excellent. You've great. got more summer camps going on, but we're going to have to have you come back and we'll talk about those. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Excellent. Awesome. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Sienna Colley, you're the program coordinator for our Heritage House Museum and my co-host, Robbie Hull. Thanks again, Rob. Thanks, you're guys. Right, 